y'all very much. Thank you so much, and welcome to Epcot Center. Welcome to, we, we, I've played this stage before, but it's been many, many years ago. I was part of the, the big Christmas thing that they would always do every year, you know, where you had choirs from around the country. I don't know if I've ever seen that, but it's just beautiful. And uh, but when I was here before, I didn't really sing. I, I was just a narrator. So I just kind of stood there in a tuxedo and kind of and told the story, you know, and then everybody else would do the singing. So it's fun to be uh, back and, and to do our own stuff. Thank you so much for remembering these songs. Now, uh, before we go any further, I want to ask you one thing. How many of you are in here just to kind of be able to sit down for a few minutes? No. See that? No. I got, which I don't blame you. I, t I tell you what, when when uh, when I was younger, how, you know, when you get older, when all your sentences start out. Back when I was younger, like every other sentence, um, I used to bring my kids here all the time, and, and I man, I could walk these parks for hours, 10, 12 hours, and just back and forth. We'd do the world showcase here like four times in a day, you know. So today. I just walked from like here to say Mexico over there, and I thought I was going to die. I was like, where are those motorized carts I could rent to get me back? You know, it's like, whoo, a little bit warm. That's another thing I noticed too as I get older, is that, uh, the heat used to not bother me very much. You, you know what I'm talking about? But now it's just like, good grief. But anyway, we're here, and, and uh, we're, we, we, we do have some air conditioning backstage, so we kind of cooled off a little bit to rejuvenate and ready to go. But thank you so much for, I want always want to start by saying thank you for keeping 90s country music alive. Woo! Yeah! I see so many of you out there singing the words to these songs, and it, oh, it just means the world to me, you know. I, uh, I, none of us, all my uh, contemporaries, other artists that came out when I did, um, none of us thought... If you'd ask us back, say, 1991 or 93 or something like that, if we thought we'd still be getting to do this 30 years later, we'd have laughed. Wow, that's right. But, we, you know, but here we are. And there's been such a resurgence of, of our generation of music, you know, and so I just want to say thank you for that. Just know you guys know those songs. Makes me feel good to know I remember these songs. <laughs> Tell you what, I hate to do this to you folks, but these, these you know, just so you know, these... The shows here are short. We do, instead of one long show like we typically do, we do three 30-minute ones, you know, spread apart. And uh, and just in case you do want to come back for the other, the later two shows, uh, just know we, we'll do something a little different. There's certain songs you have to do each time, just in case somebody just came in for the one, you know. But uh, we're, we're definitely going to try to uh, shake it up and do different stuff every, every time tonight. But uh, this next one, I'm afraid I may have to do this one every show. This is just one of those that, you know, no matter how I try to escape it, it's just it's just part of the deal. It's probably my most recognizable song, and so yeah, I sort of have to do it all the time. Now, it does have some socially redeeming value if you choose to look at it that way. I'm going to dedicate this tonight to all the men here with us, because I'll tell you what, guys, this song is about us. This song is about the struggles that we go through in relationships. You know what I'm talking about, girls. You got to admit, sometimes you guys get bent out of shape with us over just silly stuff. You know, maybe he said something that came out the wrong way, or or did something he wasn't supposed to do, or didn't do something he was supposed to do, and you and your girls are just just you, you're just letting him have it. You know, it, it's really unfair. Just say it. I should probably wrap this part up pretty quick. Uh, all of a sudden, it got really cool in it out here. You know? um, <laughs> must be a breeze blowing in. Anyway, you know, you're you, you know what I'm talking about, fellas. You're trying your best to explain to her what you meant by that comment or meant by that action, and she's just not listening. At times like that, a man only has one option and one option only. You just have to stand up proudly, defiantly, look her right in the eye and say, honey, that's my story and I'm sticking to it.
I'm gonna need about a 10 minute breather after that one. <laughs> Just kidding. Those, some of those songs used to be a lot easier, Tony. Really a lot easier. Back when I had better, more hair. Um, people say, Connor, why do you always wear a cap all the time? Well, not much grass growing up there anymore. But I had hair back when I needed it, you know? Are y'all still having fun with us? We're gonna do an extra song here. Woo! Go Tyson! I planned out what I thought was 30 minutes, but I think we're a little bit ahead of, ahead of schedule. Here, so else. <laughs> I hope y'all remember this one. Uh, my buddy Randy Foster from Texas. Singing this majority with 24 top 10 hits, 16 number one songs, 11 million records sold. And ladies and gentlemen, Colin Ray. I was mentioning this the first first show today. I got in the park early and went and ate, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to walk around like I used to. Because so when my kids were young and stuff, we came here all the time, and I could, boy, I could cover this, these parks like no like nobody's business. I'd just go around the world several times, you know. I walked from, from here to Mexico over here, and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> It was a lot further than I would be. <laughs> well, not warm. But uh, we're so happy to be here. We already did one show, and, and with you, the format here is you do three short ones. Some of you were here. I reckon I see some faces I recognize. Yeah. And I, I, I warned, I warned all of you on the first set that because we're doing three, there's certain songs like those last two you kind of have to do every time, you know. So I figured we'd just get those out of the way. You know? <laughs> But we, I, always, I always say this, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for keeping 90s country music alive in the world. Like I said, I, I, I don't think any, me or any of my uh, contemporaries, that you know, other friends of mine uh, from those days would have thought, if you'd have told us back in 1992, 93, that we'd still be getting to do this 30 years later. Yeah. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Of applause for I don't I don't have a good band I really don't I have a great band. I'm so proud of these guys giving all a big big round of applause and the good news is we get better as oh goodness thank you so very much oh y'all are so sweet I just think okay we're doing we have this one and one more show to do this evening and then three tomorrow. I say you just, I just, I say you change all your plans for the next couple of days. Yeah. Woo! You probably get sick of me pretty quick. Um, I'd like to do um, uh, a, a new song. That, it's, been, it's been out about a year or so, but uh, I did an album for Audium Records a little over a year back called Scars, and uh, it's a real personal record. Uh, my, I, I or my brother wrote everything on it, and. Uh, so it was a real personal record, you know, we was, it was, I'm real proud of it. And uh, my brother who spent his, well, the last 20 years with Miranda Lambert as her guitar player. And uh, he was really Miranda's first band. It was just the two of them playing around uh, Texas listening rooms and whatnot, you know. And uh, so he was with her until he just, he was started getting sick and, and uh, couldn't tour anymore. But I'm so, I'm so glad we got to work together on this album, you know, it meant a lot to me because we started out obviously playing music together. And uh, he taught me a bunch. And uh, well, he's older, older than me. The reason I keep talking in past tense is we lost him back in February. He passed oh. away. And uh, the only only sibling I've ever had, you know. So still miss him very much. And uh, but he had uh, he got Miranda to sing on this song with me. So we kind of did it, did it as a duet. And I uh, love what this song says. It 
if you've lived very long at all, you can relate to this. It's called Scars. <laughs> So we kind of get warmed up. It's time to quit. Yeah. We appreciate y'all so very, very much for for coming out and hanging with us. Like I said, we, uh, we got one more to do. I think it's at eight o'clock. So uh, we're trying to make them be all a little bit different. Like I said earlier, there's there's certain songs that are, a couple songs I have to play in every every set. You know, just in case somebody's only seen us for the first time that day. But 
But uh, we're trying to make them different. So if y'all want to come back, please come back in at 8 o'clock. I can never leave you without singing this one. <laughs>